to unveil the details to all of you, I'd like to introduce University President Dr. Sidney McPhee. Creating that vision and clear mission requires great leadership, and we're fortunate to have great leadership at the top. Since he arrived in 2001, Dr. McPhee has carefully and intentionally developed a blueprint for the continued success of MTSU. Dr. McPhee truly believes in the future of this university. He believes in the importance of each of every student and that as we as a university community have a responsibility for their success. He's led with passion and purpose and dedication to all that is true blue. It's my pleasure to introduce MTSU's 10th president, Dr. Sidney A. McPhee. That is always the greatest fear of any speaker that uh, someone walks off with their notes. Um, you almost got fired uh, there. Uh, let's give Chip a round of applause. He does such a great job for us. Uh, well, good evening and welcome to this very exciting event. It is indeed a great day to be a Blue Raider. Good thing you all are not in my class here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is not by chance that we have gathered in the Emmett and Rose Kennan Athletics Hall of Fame for today's announcement. This building and the memories it holds and preserved and shared for future generation because of the generosity of Emmett and Rose. Their philanthropy and vision forever changed the footprint of the alma mater and created the cornerstone for this very transformational project. Behind me as I speak is a magnificent window into our future, a revitalized athletics campus and a new gateway into our institution that will be shaped by the philanthropy and vision of a new generation of Blue Raiders donors. Now, in just a few short years ago, our alumni, students, and fans, and visitors will experience a completely redesigned athletic corridor with a new student athlete performance center, an inviting grand entrance to an updated state-of-the-art fan experience in Murphy Center. All right. You're moving up from a C to a B. <laughs> Once completed, these new and renovated facilities made possible by our Bill Blue Now campaign will provide with us a place where our student athletes get the training and tools they need on the field and in the classroom to reach their greatest potential. A place that reflects the ambition we all share for our future Blue Raider athletics. And indeed, a place that serves as a destination for our campus, as well as the city of Murfreesboro and Rutherford County. Now let's now watch this video that shows the future of Blue Raider Athletics Campus. The last few years, we've seen our national brand increase exponentially. Now it's time to take it to yet another level. Take a glimpse into our future and come take this journey with us.
Are you impressed or what? Now, a few years ago, we began to develop this very ambitious goal to improve our athletic facilities footprint and to enhance the amenities for our student athletes and our loyal alumni and fans. Through the Build Blue Now campaign, which we quietly began a few months ago, and now publicly announcing today, we committed to securing the resources needed for Blue Raider athletics to strengthen our competitive edge against conference and national peers. Now, over the past few months, as conference realignment has influenced the athletic landscape, the importance of enhanced facilities has taken on, on even a greater importance. Coupled with our decision to remain with Conference USA, today's announcement, ladies and gentlemen, emphasizes our commitment to bring meaningful change to our athletics program. Now, while I am pleased by the success we have enjoyed through the 17 sports played by Blue Raider Athletics, I share our fans and supporters' the desire to see Blue Raider Athletics move forward even faster. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to announce that we will begin the design and the construction of the first phase of the $100 million athletic enhancement facilities. <clears throat> And I want you to know that significant resources have already been dedicated to the completion of phase one in conjunction with future athletic private giving dollars. The $66 million first phase will be the centerpiece of this project. And when completed, it will bring to life what you see in the window behind me and so very much more. Now, in just a moment, you will hear from those who have been working quietly, and I might add, patiently, to move forward, move us forward, and they will give you a greater detail on our ambitious plan to transform our athletic facilities. For those that have been active in getting us to this point today, I want to thank you for your generous support. It has driven this process and got us to where we are today. And while today's announcement represents an important milestone, we are far from done. We must continue to acquire the additional resources to develop the infrastructure that ensures MTSU is restored to a dominant role among not only Conference USA, but other Division I athletics. <laughs> Quite simply, our athletic programs are a window into our great university. It's really the front porch, bringing regional and national recognition to our campus and surrounding community. Shall I say, Michigan State? University of Minnesota. Okay, you, you, you got an A. Let's try that again. Shall I say Michigan State? The University of Minnesota. So today, as your president, and as all of us at this university, we want to thank you. We want to sincerely thank you and as they say in the South, we are getting her done. Get her done. <laughs> and so with your help, we are positioning today's students for success both on the field and in the classroom. And with today's announcement, we commit to Bill Blue now. Not tomorrow, not yesterday, but now. 
So we are going to do what is required to secure the support necessary to make this vision a reality. And I truly believe that together we'll honor our commitment to ensuring the highest level of performance and strengthen our sense of community and our sense of pride. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your university. We don't take second place to nobody. I appreciate all the support that we have gotten from our fans, our alums, and the believers. I would now like to invite our chairman of the board, trustee, Blue Raider Athletics Hall of Famer, Steve Smith, to give you more details about the remarkable efforts put forth to make this happen. He was very instrumental in making sure that today happened with our board of trustees. So let's give him a round of applause as we bring him on stage. It's humbling to be standing here in the Hall of Fame. And really, this crowd is fantastic. I want to give you a couple of fun facts along with today marks the new era of NTSU. This is the biggest athletic announcement in our lifetime, and we have the money, and we're fixing to start. So I'm, I'm pleased to be able to share that with you. This isn't some dream. This is a dream come true, and sometimes dreams do come true. Let me give you a couple of fun facts. And the one I'm most proud of, and I hate to say this in front of Stock and the other coaches, we are the number one graduate athletic program in the uh, public schools in the United States. I'll say that a little more eloquently. In all the public schools in the United States, that's all of them, Knoxville to Nome, we graduate more, a higher percentage of our student athletes than any other school. And if we don't, we're not doing what we're supposed to do. We're here to educate athletes and people. So I'm most proud of that. Without your board's vision, this wouldn't happen because it took a teamwork. I want to leave it. It's teamwork that does it all. And the teamwork here, your board, what do they do? Well, they've committed $4 million so far towards our $10 million goal. So we've got $70 million bucks in the bank waiting to spend on these fantastic things. I think it'll be more, and we've got other announcements coming soon, but we don't want to do it all in one day. The other one I think that is uh, interesting is, to date, there's not one penny of taxpayer dollar here. Not one penny of taxpayer, taxpayer dollars. So we're doing this. This will be the largest private investment. Already $10 million is more than any private investment in athletic facilities in MTSU history. So it's, it's a big deal. I'm honored to be the chairman, and I've got a great board, and I'm pleased to be here in the Hall of Fame. And let's go tomorrow. Let's go in a few minutes and beat Vanderbilt, but this starts a whole new era for a whole other world of people to excel and be Blue Raiders. So thank you. Chris Massaro is in his 17th year at Middle Tennessee looking to build upon the unparalleled success the athletic department has realized since he was named Director of Athletics in 2005. During his tenure, Middle Tennessee has realized its greatest athletic and academic successes as evidenced by the record-setting performances by all 17 sports. And under his 16-plus year reign, 
The Blue Raiders have brought home 74 conference championships and three individual national championships. Please welcome Middle Tennessee's Director of Athletics, Chris Massaro. Wow, what a crowd. Thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight. Uh, as everyone knows, this project's been several years in the making. With a project of this magnitude and the duration it took us to get to this point, there are many people to thank for your efforts and contributions. The first and most obvious one, and we would not be here today without Dr. McPhee greenlighting our master's facilities plan, which is the product that you see before you. His unwavering support of this project has been instrumental in getting us to here today. I would also like to thank the members of our Board of Trustees, uh, especially Chairman Steve Smith, for getting behind this vision 110% and how it can improve our entire campus and our entire region. I think Steve and his remarks mentioned the number, but it does bear repeating, so I, I just want to clarify it a little bit. The private donations from our Board of Trustees is $4 million to our goal. So not only are they supporting it with, uh, w with their leadership and, and, and what they do as the board, but they're also doing it with their private contributions. And I, th I saw Pam in here, Pam Wright, uh, single you out. Pam is the chair of our athletics committee. And uh, so a lot of this work's gone through her committee. So uh, Chairman Wright, thank you for what you do for us too. I think an example that we have here tonight, uh, Pam's here, Joey Jacobs has been introduced, J.B. Baker, uh, Pete DeLay, Rick Cottle. Uh, thank you guys for, for your leadership and what you do for us. Uh, as I thank you, yep. As I, as I look around and I, I see our, our university leadership and all the vice presidents, and this would never happen without their support. I see uh, deans of the colleges, and it's just, this is why MTSU is so successful, is because all those teams work together. But I'm going to pull three or four people out and thank them. Uh, Alan Thomas, thank you for the financing of this and kind of making the keeping the pencil sharp and kind of doing everything. So, Alan, thank you. Joe Bales for, for all your help with the, the campaign and navigating us through the silent piece of this and now that we're public uh, for all your support. And let's give a hand for Andrew Ottman, our executive director of this show. So thank you, Andrew, for putting this thing together as well. Uh, I'd like to thank all of our donors. I mean, it goes without saying that this would not be possible without your, your financial support, but also your labor and, and what you've done for us to get us to this point. Your efforts are critical and will continue to be critical. Please know that you're very much appreciated. We cannot do this. We cannot take this next step without you. And I just want to remind you, we're at halftime. We've got phase one done, and now we'd really like to get to phase two. And uh, phase one concentrates mostly on the, the building and, and some improvements to Floyd Stadium. Phase two really gets into the guts of the Murphy Center. And that fifth, we're going to celebrate its 50th anniversary next year, and it needs a makeover. And what we have planned for the Murphy Center is going to be spectacular. I would like to thank a special thank you. Where's my favorite dentist? Uh, Dr. Walter Chitwood, there you are. President of the BRAA. None of this would happen without the BRAA. So thank you, Dr. Chitwood. Dr. Chitwood's been a driving force in this thing and, and helped us so much. Uh, and he wisely selected two, two BRAA board members to help lead our community campaign. Uh, Drew Shea. Drew, are you somewhere over here? Drew, that, raise your hand. There you are, Drew. And Andy Womack, who's been relentless with this thing. So Andy, thank you so much. They've done an incredible job. And don't worry, if you've not heard from them, their team leaders, or any athletic staff member, please don't be alarmed. 
Uh, we're now exiting the silent phase of our campaign and we are public. There's still plenty of time for each one of you to be contacted. So just, uh, we would like to do that. I'd like to thank my staff, both past and present. This has been a long project and a lot of people have helped us get to this point. It truly takes a village. I think we have every head coach here and our head coaches are amazing. Uh, they're the best coaches uh, a department could have. Last year we won more Conference USA titles than anybody else, and that, that's, no, that's no accident. It's because we've got great leadership in each one of our spots. So we look forward to arming you with the kind of facilities to give you a fairer fight on the road with uh, recruiting and uh, to give you an extra little nugget to, to recruit to as well. Uh, I'd like to, speaking of staff, I, I want to introduce you to our, our newest staff member. Uh, we announced it a, a day or two ago. Deputy AD for External Affairs, Lee DeLeon. Lee's over there back in the corner. Uh, we hired him from Louisiana Lafayette. Was a, was was really great there. Uh, Lee's here with his wife Lacey and his son Luke and Landon. So give them afterwards a great Blue Raider welcome for those guys. Uh, we're excited to have him. Lee's learning about our housing market and how quickly things can go. So hopefully he can find, if you have a house for sale, go see Lee, because uh, he, can, he can use some help. Uh, as we mentioned, we now entered the design phase, and we're fortunate to really have some of the best sports architects in the country working on this project. So I'd like you to introduce you to Trevor Beckold, from HOK, Trevor, there you are right over here. Trevor, thank you. And then from GMC in Nashville, we've got Sarah Butler, Eric Scouten, and we've got also two MTSU graduates on this team. Catherine Cunningham and Paige Zur uh, are MTSU graduates in interior design, so we know these facilities are gonna be great with those guys working on MTSU grads. So thanks for being here tonight as well. <laughs> They'll be working with our campus planning with Vicki Eastman and Bill Waits. Uh, so, so these projects are, are in good hands. And you can monitor our project on our uh, Bill Blue website. And I want to thank Mark Owens for really getting that thing together. And my main man, Bradley Lambert. Uh, those of you that know Bradley know that this, this website's fantastic. So Bradley, thank you. So phase one is a go. Again, that's mostly the stadium. Uh, it's, it's also to get football out of the Murphy Center and uh, build new locker rooms for them and the Student Athlete Performance Center. Phase two is important to our university and, and our community and the surrounding region. And that's what we're raising money for now. And those, those are primarily Murphy Center improvements, which we, we desperately need. Phase three is the indoor practice facility, and so we'd like to get there, but let's get phase two done. Uh, let's roll up our sleeves, and we still got work to do, but thank you for all your efforts thus far. Thanks so much. Chris mentioned Andy Womack, and all of you in this room know that the Womack family roots at Middle Tennessee date back to the earliest years of the university history. Andy, the highly successful Murfreesboro businessman, has also served his community and his alma mater well. Mr. Womack has spearheaded numerous philanthropic endeavors throughout the community and has served on, I guess, Andy, every board and committee that's available on this campus for you to serve on. And now we're excited to have his leadership in this exciting project. Please welcome the chairman of the Build Blue campaign, Senator Andy Womack. I want you to excuse me if I'm a little nervous, but uh, when I was told I would be speaking after President McPhee, Chairman Steve Smith, and Athletic Director Chris Massaro, I began to feel a little bit like the donkey that a farmer entered in the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> when I asked why he did that, the farmer said, I know he won't win, but the association will do him good. 
So I'm hoping this association does me some good. As Chip mentioned, the Womack Family Association with MTSU goes back to Middle Tennessee normal. My two aunts, my two uncles, and their brother, my father, Bob Womack, graduated here. Molly Womack, my granddaughter, will be the fourth generation of the Womack family of David and Georgia Womack from Flat Creek in Bedford County to graduate here. <clears throat> Price, uh, their oldest son, and eventually a surgeon, graduated here in 1928. And Molly is scheduled to graduate next year in 2022, the span of 94 years. I know many of you have similar family roots with MTSU, too. Molly can see evidence of Andy and Cherry Womack listed as investors in the university at the Paul Martin Honors College, the Reese Smith baseball field, the Kennan Hall of Fame building, and numerous Womack named education scholarships. But what I really want her to learn is the importance of giving back and giving back to MTSU. In September, as mentioned, Chris Massaro approached Blue Raider, the Blue Raider Athletic Association to assume a leadership role in this campaign. Our president, Walter Chitwood, asked board member Drew Shea and myself, a past president, to head up the Blue Raider Athletic Association effort to raise a minimum, and I point that out, minimum, of $15 million. Thanks to the support from the athletic staff, the foundation staff, the board of trustees, the president's office, and especially to BRAA team members, Amy Ayer, Megan Flippin, Mike Gaines, Wayne Gross, Richard Lewis, Larry Miller, Mike Terry, Chip Walters, and Dana Womack, I'm proud to announce that as of this date, we have raised $10.107,000. I'm not through. Yeah, no, we just need to <laughs> We're supposed to get our picture. Yeah, from our executive right. director. Where's Andrew? Oh, man. Andrew wanted to take a picture. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we don't cut your speech short. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. $10,107,000 $10, so far toward our minimum goal of $15 million. I need to thankfully acknowledge a cornerstone gift from the estate of Elizabeth Ray, as well as the aforementioned Board of Trustees commitments. So what time is it now? You can be recognized as participating in the most aggressive athletic enhancement campaign in the history of Middle Tennessee State University. You can be part of a successful campaign. Bill Blue folders are available with more campaign information and pledge commitments of up to five years are welcomed. Remember, the more you give, it's not the less you have, but the more you are worth. If you and your family want to make a commitment to this transformational effort, you can see me or any of our team leaders that I mentioned. I want to close by saying that my association with MTSU has done me a lot of good. I feel transformed from a donkey to a thoroughbred. <laughs> and I and I feel and I want you to feel like a thoroughbred too. So be a blue bill blue donor, please. Boy, what an exciting day it's been so far. And after our program, we're not done yet, not quite yet, but after our program, I want to invite you to join us in the auxiliary gym 
in Murphy Center for some pregame refreshments prior to tip-off of tonight's basketball game between Middle Tennessee and Vanderbilt. We do have a surprise addition to the schedule to wrap up our program today. And I'll just simply say, welcome our head coach, Rick Stockstall. Thank you. Uh, appreciate everybody being here. And um, thank you for everybody that's helped turn this dream into a reality. Um, this is long overdue, and it's a game changer for our program. So uh, we're really excited about it. Uh, Sarah and I and our family have made a, a commitment to this fund, to this uh, fundraising facility, and um, doing it, we're doing it in honor of every former player and current player that, that we have coached since I've been here, since we've been here. And I want them to know <clears throat> how much I love them, how much I respect them, how much I appreciate them, and everything they've done and given to this program. All their sacrifice, yeah, yeah. All their sacrifices, everything they've given. Um, I just want them to know that when they come back here in a couple years when this thing's done and they see that facility, that they know that they played a huge role in that building being there because it's a game changer for this program. You all know that. Everybody knows it. But I want those players to know because they're the ones that ultimately have sacrificed and given so much to this place. And uh, I just want them to know uh, that they'll never be forgotten, that I appreciate them, I respect the heck out of them, I love every one of them, and I can't wait to see their face when they come back in a couple years and they see it, because they'll know, and if they don't, I'll tell them that they played a ginormous role in this thing being built, because if it wasn't for them, uh, it wouldn't be possible. So thank you for everything you guys do and continue to do. So Bill Blue now. Be loud, be proud, and be blue. Thank you.